In this video, we are going to explain how to connect your LDAP server to your Vibe server and import your users and groups. After you have successfully set up your Vibe server, log in as admin. From there, in the top right hand corner, you will select admin, then administration console. At this point, you will have a menu down the left side of your screen. For this video, we'll be working with the LDAP section, so scroll down till you see LDAP and click it. After you click LDAP, a new window will pop up that has a few tabs and buttons which we will go through. First off, we will want to add an LDAP server so that we have something to work with. Click the Add button to open up the LDAP server configuration window. The first section you will fill out is the LDAP server URL. The format is LDAP colon slash slash host or your LDAP server and the port. We are going to use my test LDAP server and I will configure it now. Okay, now that we have that filled out, we're going to go down and fill out the user, DN, and password. For the user, we're going to authenticate against the LDAP server. Next, we fill out the directory type, the GUID attribute, which we generally want to leave as GUID, then create users either internal or external, and finally, vibe account name attributes as CN. You also have the ability to change some of the things around that you want synced over from LDAP, but for testing, we're just going to leave it at the defaults. Let's move over to the Users tab and click Add. This is where we are going to tell Vibe where to look for the users within the LDAP server. So we will navigate to the base DN of our users. If the base DN has a subtree with users that you would like to sync over, then you will want to check off the Search Subtree box. As far as the filter, almost always you will just leave this alone. If you are good with filters and want to make changes, the rule of thumb is that you want to add to this filter rather than modify it. Vibe is looking for specific things and changes to this filter make things not work. Once you have configured that, we will hit OK and move to the Groups tab. The same things apply for the Groups tab as they do for the Users tab. Alright, now that we have everything configured, we will hit OK and our LDAP server should show up in the servers list. Now we are ready to sync over our users and groups. You have the ability to do a preview sync to see what will be synced before actually syncing it, but this time we will just sync by selecting our server and clicking Sync All. As you can see, a new window pops up and you can see what is getting synced over. After all your users and groups, get synced, you can click Cancel and scroll up to the Users and Groups tab and make sure they are populated with your users. Finally, we will go over the other tabs under LDAP Configuration. User Settings is where you will configure what happens if a user is no longer within the LDAP filter, if they get disabled or if they get deleted. You can also set up the Time Zone. This also goes for the Group Settings tab. You can also change how often you want Vibe to go out and look for changes on the LDAP server and sync them. By default, this is set for once a day in the middle of the night. Keep in mind when changing this, you can put more load on the Vibe server if you set this too frequently. And finally, you can enable or disable the ability for local user accounts to log in. And that does it for setting up and syncing your users and groups over to Vibe from your LDAP server. Thank you.